Okay, everybody, welcome to Trigger Tarot. So this is going to be a completely different thing that I'll be doing sometimes. So this will be kind of a shift. It's kind of a new thing. I'm a bit of an amateur at this. Um, I've just started uh, today. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull some cards, try to, you know, give you a sense of, you know, whatever. And, you know, we'll just kind of go from there. So we're going to go through this. I'm going to go through each zodiac sign and try to help you understand maybe a little bit about your life and maybe where you're going with your life and all that sort of stuff. So let me adjust a couple things. And first off, before we, well, before we adjust it, let me go ahead and ring a little bell so that we can um, maybe get Lady Luck in here and, you know, maybe you know, increase our odds in this world, you know, just make it a little bit better. Bring out your dead. So let's go ahead and try to find some inspiration in this. Maybe there's something here. Maybe this will help, you know, you, maybe this will help you grow in a sense. Maybe, um, <clears throat> maybe you'll just get uh, a lot of money. I don't know. Let's, let's find out. So, all right, so I'm going to get a little closer here. So anyways, um, yeah, first card is the Fool. Okay, so that's cool. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle some of this stuff here. We're going to talk about Aries. I should probably leave a little thing at the top saying Aries, but Aries is March, 20, March 21st through April 19th. Now, typically I'd like to do uh zodiac stuff uh including ophiuchus um because i think it's pretty cool uh but you know we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of start with this here and these cards are so damn big i can't shuffle them like i can with regular cards but yeah i just uh i was gonna do this on april 1st but you know apparently ordering tarot cards online takes 12 days to get so Anyways, um, go ahead and do that. All right, so I shuffled them up. What I'm going to do here for starting this up for everything is that I'm going to do like a cross here, and then I'm going to give you kind of my explanation as to what I think this means. And I'm going to use these other cards here as well because um, for me in my life, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, are, you know, I, I think it's kind of important people kind of take things into uh, their life as to what they've used and utilized a lot. So I played a lot of risk and I played a lot of monopoly and I've also played a lot of Uno. So I'm going to use these in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set one card here. We're just going to go from the top, you know, typical uh, card stuff. So we're going to go from the top. This is you. So this is you, Aries. And then we're going to go down. This is the other other person, significant other, or just a friend or somebody that you know. And then we're going to go to our left and we're going to go your risk, your journey. This is basically a journey card here. So it's a traveling card. And then we're going to go to the right and this is the outcome card. So whatever it could be, money, houses, or whatever, you know, it's, it's one of those. So anyways, um, let's start with a card we can find inside here to kind of give an overall over under, and it'll probably help me at the end to maybe figure this out, you know, a bit. So let's, let's look through here and let's lady luck is telling me to stop right about now. All right. What is it? It is the Four of Wands. Okay, so that's going to go right in the center. Just going to give me an over-under for the whole thing. So it's associated with Four Wands. I think, what does that mean? Wind? I think it means wind. Either way. All right, so let's start here. You, Aries, have the Moon card. So you've got the Moon card to start. And if I'm going to tie it to something here, I want to say the moon card is kind of like, you know, there's a sun card, there's the moon card, 
and uh, you know the sun is about you know your outside personality the moon is about your inside personality so pretty much what we look at when we think of that sort of thing we, we think like you know your outside ego versus your inside uh your your inside persona you know your your inner self so if i'm going to choose from here as far as what these could possibly bring up i'm probably thinking that the inside would be more of a chance card than a community card because a community card would deal with your sun side right so i'm thinking your chance card would probably deal with your inside so let's go ahead and pick up a chance card there <clears throat> okay so what does it say it says take a trip hope you can read that right i don't know why the focus isn't working on take a trip to reading railroad if you go if you pass go, collect $200. So that is a reading railroad card. I don't know why it won't focus. Why won't it focus? Here we go. Okay. So I just got to bring it right there. Take a trip to the reading railroad. If you pass go, collect $200. Okay. So that is your card. That is the meaning of the moon as far as what I can tell from here. So you need to take a trip on a train, right? But if you passed go, you get to collect $200. So what it means is that for your inner self, you need to get out and experience life, right? You know, like like this dragon and this guy on this, you know, with the sword on, on the back of this dragon. You need to go out and experience life. Breathe some fire. Whoosh, you know, breathe some fire on some stuff and you know, experience life. So you kind of need to get out there. You need to take a little trip. This would probably be a good idea for you, honestly. Um, well, I mean, considering the whole lockdown thing, it kind of it kind of depends on your state. If it's more tyrannical, if it's not that tyrannical, you know, if you can actually get out and do something versus like if you walk outside, you're going to get shot. You know, well, you got to kind of make your decision based upon that. So if you can get out, you know, this is a good opportunity and you can get out and you can probably you know, have a good experience. So it's already talking about journey right there. So that's what I get off the moon. It's, it's your inner self that wants to get out. It's probably due to cabin fever. I mean, I'm probably experiencing that right now. I probably lost my mind and, you know, I'm experiencing that myself at the moment, but I'm having fun. You know, I'm enjoying life. You know, I'm, I'm still making videos. I'm still doing stuff. You know, still talking to friends, still playing games, doing a lot of strategy games and all that sort of stuff. But you haven't checked it out. Definitely. Okay, I won't go advertising anyways. This is about you. This is about Aries. Um, but yes, take a trip on the Reading Railroad. So what does that mean? Visit Reading, Pennsylvania. Or visit a railroad that has a very old colonial style uh, feel to it. And the little bonus here, though, the little bonus here with the collect $200, if you pass, if you pass go... Collect $200, right? If you pass go, collect $200. That might tie into the Four of Wands. So uh, whatever that means, I guess that means that. So, um, yeah. So I think that should kind of help in a way. So I'm guessing you're going to collect money if you've already done this before. So I'm thinking that probably means that you're going to collect money if you've already done this before. So this kind of shows, plus the fact is too, you know what's actually kind of cool is that um, these little these little dudes here, if you can see that, these little dudes are this woman and this guy. I don't know why the camera won't focus. Focus, focus, oh, focus, oh, focus, focus, focus. I don't know why it's not focusing. Anyways, what it looks like to me is um, a dude that uh, the way the artist drew it, it looks like there's a dude in there on the left. He ate a lot of uh, spaghetti. He's got pizza all over its mouth. And the guy on the right, um, he's just happy. But they're both like, it's it's kind of like a journey card here. So they're kind of like saying, hey, man, or hey, woman, go on this, go on this train and go out and uh, experience life, you know, have some fun. So if you've done this before, you'll probably collect money by doing so. 
So there's probably like an endeavor that you can complete and then you probably be kind of successful there. So that'd be pretty cool. All right. So anyways, that was you. Um, let's get to the other. So the, the other person in your life. Ooh, look at that. This is the, that is the, um, four of swords and it's in the reverse. So being in the reverse means that, um, gravity would take effect and this little statue guy or this little plated guy in the, the coffin would fall down and pale himself on these three swords here and it would hurt a lot, but he has a statue. So what this probably means is that, um, you're being very stoic, you know, you're being a statue and you're not moving. You would fall down and impale yourself on these three swords and that would hurt a lot, but because you've turned into a statue, you can't fall down. So, um, this other person here wants you to fall down, right? Cause this is the other person card, but you can't because you're stuck to the stone block because you are mortared to the stone block. Now, if you look at it like this, I mean, you're, you're kind of mortared into the concrete here if you're a statue, right? So you're mortared in the stone block. You can't fall down. They're waiting to, to pierce you with swords, but you're like, yeah, I don't think so. So this other person might be trying to do something to you, but it's not going to happen. So don't worry about it. All right. So let's go to your journey. All right. Ooh, look at that. It's actually kind of like a journey card, but look at that. This is the five of swords. You have all swords. So this is all attack, 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 right? Well, maybe, maybe not. Anyways. So you got the five of swords here, right? So this is actually, this looks like kind of like a Coliseum actually. I was thinking it was a journey, but I was looking at the background. I'm like, is that blue? Is that water? No, that those are people in the stand. And these guys are fighting. Those two idiots lost. So you're like, oh, boo oh, I can't fight. And this other guy's like, yeah, whatever. And this one guy's like, yeah, I got all the swords. Look at me. Look how powerful I am. So what ends up happening is that on your journey, you might get into like a debate of some kind. And two other idiots are going to lose. Okay. So these guys lose or girls, whatever. And you collect their swords because that's what you do as a winner. He's collecting their swords because they lost. This is literally what happens in a gladiatorial perspective. These guys lost, they run away. The winner gets to take the spoils and you know, that's kind of what happens. So anyways, you go on a journey, your foe tries to defeat you, but he can't and you win. Hey, I'm actually, am I doing well? I think I'm, I think I'm kind of getting this here, but, um, try to clarify this a little bit more, try to clarify this a little bit more. Let's pull a risk card, you know, because I'm trying to support these other games too. Cause I like these games a lot. Um, so let's, uh, let's pick a risk card here. Let's see what your journey will lead you to where you're going to go. You're taking a train, right? So let's see where you're going to go. Everybody's going to know though. So be careful. All right. You, good sir or good ma'am, you are going to Scandinavia. At least that's what the card says. But if it doesn't end up happening that way, you're probably going to go to a cold place like Scandinavia or a Norse like place or you're going to come in contact with what well, maybe Norse people here. Maybe that's what that means. You're going to come in contact with Norse people. You're going to beat them up verbally, probably because he's looking back with a smirk on his face. He's like, ah, ha, ha. you know, so you're going to probably encounter some Norse people. Take care of that. You know, little debate goes on. They couldn't beat you, blah, blah, blah. All right. So that's cool. But at the end of this, if you've done this before, you actually make some money. All right. So let's go on here to outcome. Um, wait, so I went like, oh, I should probably just go that like that. All right. So, uh, this isn't good. Um, at the end of it, you don't know why the hell you did it. Uh, you were blind. You've got the eight of swords. This is all swords here. It's crazy. Um, you got the eight of swords, um, and, uh, you, you feel kind of trapped. You know, you feel kind of trapped. You're like, why did I do that? So let's pull another card to 
uh, see what your because because the thing is like this coincides with this like what was your mission here so I'm gonna pull out a mission card for risk and uh, we're gonna see what your mission was oh oh that got in there well I don't think your mission was your all we're gonna have to put your all back into the deck here we'll have to shuffle that too so yeah this is the uh, the risk deck there so we're gonna go and try to figure out what your mission was because that's important you got to know your mission in life sometimes your missions change so let's go ahead and uh, pull this one out or should we pull this one out? I'll give you on the screen you point to the one on the screen I should pull out okay that's the one you pointed to I think you did right I hope you did Anyways, this is the one I feel that I should pull. So this is what your mission was. Okay, your mission was destroy all green troops. If you control the green troops, occupy 24 territories of your choice instead. So you're either going to occupy 24 of something, right? You can either occupy 24 of something or you're going to destroy all the green troops. So whatever is green in a sense, you know, it's like envy. So green is, you know, the green eyed monsters envy, right? So you're going to destroy envy, but it will make you sad. So you're going to be able to do something really great, possibly make some money off that too, probably 200 bucks or maybe more. That's yeah, just a kind of estimate or whatever. Um, but there's going to be eight swords here at the end. You're going to feel a little blind. You're like, why did I do all that? I don't know why you did it, but you did it. So, you know, that's that's your reading for there. You know, I don't know what else to say. Um, Aries, I, I wish you the best. Um, I don't know what how much money you're going to make. It says, well, I mean, it says 200 bucks. I was going to pull out some money and try to, you know, have Lady Luck uh, help me figure that out. But we already kind of know. So anyways. That was your reading, Aries. I hope you do very well, you know, with your journey in life and all that. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Hope you did. Hope you did well. Hope you beat up all the uh, people trying to put you down and all that. You know, that that sucks when you got people like that in your life. But you do have a possible 200 bucks coming to you if you go to Pennsylvania or if you just take a colonial style train and maybe if you've done this before in a sense or a way, you might be able to, you know, you know, make out good off of it somehow. But there's an opportunity here with the train. It's got something to do with the train. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, let's put uh, the chance card back. That's That was for you. Uh, all right. So we are going to go on to... We are going to go on to Taurus here. Let me... Push these cards around, put them back. Thanks everybody for being here. Hopefully you're doing well, you know, staying away from getting sick and all that. Um, I know I didn't use the Uno card, but I didn't feel like I needed to. Lady Luck didn't say anything about Uno, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna yell it out or anything like that. Put these cards back. So we're going to Taurus. Taurus, according to Final Fantasy Tactics. Since I'm a Scorpio, you would be my perfect match. As a female, as a male, we would, uh, well, I don't think it'd work out very well. Um, I think the same thing goes for the same signs too, doesn't it? I think it does. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. I actually can, I can shuffle this. I don't know if I'm supposed to shuffle this like this. I see everybody just going like this all the time. I was like, yeah, these cards are big. I mean, look at how, how big these cards are. I can get out a playing set of cards, and, the, and these ones are bigger. And I've seen other people do other readings of stuff, and their cards are just massively big. I wonder how big they're going to get. Are they going to turn into sandwich board, um, you know, with at some point? I don't know. Anyways, sorry for complaining, but sometimes I do that. Okay, so I did that. Let's find out your... Um, your card overall, your destination card, and uh, we'll see 
We'll see what it is. Let's pick this card there. Page of Swords. Okay, Taurus, you have the Page of Swords. So this is kind of a noob as far as gaming terms go. Um, I think it is. I mean, if I'm wrong, please tell me. But, you know, the Page of Swords is kind of a new greenhorn. Uh, he's got the green tights on, you know, like a noob would wear in a game. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of that. That'll be our kind of, like, starter thing that we'll figure out. Here is your U card. Here is your other card, them card. Here is your journey card. Here's your outcome card. I know I could go into like a series of nine, but since I'm just starting, I just want to make it kind of simple for me so I don't like forget where we're going with this. I hope that's okay. Um, you know, I'm not trying to upset anybody. I'm trying to do what I can, you know, but uh, all right. So let's continue here. So what do we got? We have your U card with the page of swords and uh, oh, I probably should do that. All right, so um, so basically, yeah, you've got three women holding up cups. They're happy and dancing. So what you have is a fresh new start of something, right? So you got your noob card here. You've got your fresh start there with everybody holding up chalices going, yeah, let's drink some wine, you know? And uh, so I, with three and with them all happy, I know there's three of it. So you're probably with three friends you or maybe two friends you and two other people and you're excited it's a new experience for something uh i do feel like pulling an uno card here so i'm gonna pull an uno card see if i can get something off that so five so something with five is associated with these three happy women they could be three happy dudes i don't know it depends on you know who you are I don't know who you are, but you know, who's ever watching this, it's probably for you. If not, well, sorry, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's for you. I'm, I'm trying to be nice. I'm, I'm doing my best. And so what do we got with everything else? I don't know what this really means. Maybe this means eight uh, with the page of swords, you know, adds up to nine. Uh, I think what it probably means is that you, there's five, the number of five associated with the three cups, the two other people. Could that mean you've got five days, five months of happiness with these people? It's a new start with the noob card here. Uh, it could be, but you know, we'll have to see. Let's, let's go into this more and we'll probably figure this out as we go. All right. So, yeah, I, I still, this is really kind of hard. Let's pull, since you're with a, a bunch of people, right? It's five. There's a number five associated with these two other people you know, and it's a new start. Let's pull a community chess card because I kind of feel like Lady Luck is giving me that option. Okay, what does it say? From sale of stock, you collect $50. Look at that. Look at that. I wish it would focus in. There we go. Look at that. $50. Look at that. So there's a five card here and there's a $50 here. Those are connections. So that must be coinciding with that. So you are probably going to get, so there's five and five, right? And there's two people here, right? So you and both of them are going to get $50. You're going to celebrate because some noob, some new, you know, entrepreneurial thing that you were going to do. So that's what I get off of that. So if that helps you, you and a couple other friends doing an entrepreneur type of thing are probably going to make some money and you're going to be happy. So basically what this, what this guy does is he just goes out there. What a, what I would say a noob would do is just go out there and just try the craziest thing just off the bat, just because they're new to the game and they don't know any better. So you're going to try some entrepreneurial thing with a couple friends because there's two fives in here that double confirms it right there. You are going to make money. Maybe not a lot of money, but that's still pretty good. All right. So let's go on with the other card here. Oh, I probably should do that. All right. Temperance. Okay. 
So what this says right here, temperance card, this is a big, big card. This is the um, archangel card. Temperance is basically saying, hey, so now that you made that money, don't screw it up. You know, you made the money. Now that you made the money, Taurus, make sure you invest some of that or, you know, put it in a bank or put it on the side, squirrel, squirrel some of it away because it's saying you've, you've done something crazy to get some money, but it doesn't mean you could, should continuously act like that. That's kind of where that's going. So um, I could pull a card for that, but it seems pretty evident right there. So anyways, let's go forward with your journey. What's your journey going to? Ooh, uh-oh. That's not good. So you got a bunch of guys fighting over sticks. Um, there's five of them. So what ends up happening, it seems, is that you started, you know, your entrepreneurial thing. You included other people into your investment. It says, you know, to have temperance. And it goes into this, and now there's five people there with sticks and they're all fighting each other. So what that probably means is that those two idiots decided to get two more idiots into here and now they're all fighting over that $50. You've squirreled some of that away, but they're going to fight over it with their sticks. So what we got to look at it is we have to pull a risk card, see where this is going to take you, see where these two idiots have come from to, you know, include themselves to fight over this other money that, you know, they think they they're they're deserving of you know let's let's find out what uh what that has to mean here so let's pull uh i don't know pull a risk card and pull this one so east africa so these guys are going to come out of east africa probably right so they're probably going to come out of east africa they're going to want to fight over the money that you squirreled away thinking it's theirs they could be people that are like, hey, that was my idea, but I didn't do anything about it. So now it's I now you owe me some money. So now you're in a what are you gonna do? You're you're in a messed up situation here. So what are you gonna do? So um let's try to figure this out. Okay. Let's try to figure this out together. So what's the outcome here? Knight of Wands. Look at that. There's a wand there. So that coincides with that. Knight of Wands. Look like you come out on top. So you take this wand and you beat them silly and you win. I mean, verbally, probably. Like you win the competition. You Like you win overall. Like you're like, hey guys, this was me. I was the noob here. I started this whole thing and then I added you in here to help grow this and I decided to you know, play my hand right and do some temperance there. And you other idiots came out of East Africa and you tried to fight me over it. And it's like, man, this was my idea. I put the work and effort into it and I'm victorious. So that's really good. That's really good, Taurus. Looks like you're you're really coming out on top here because you're making some money. Double fives. Everybody's making money on that. And uh, Knight of Wands is there. So let's, let's pull out a yeah, I want to find a little bit more. This is really good reading with you, but I want to find out a little bit more. So let's let's look at the risk secret mission, see if that has something to say to it. Conquer the continents of Asia and South America. So it looks like you got a little more to go. Looks like you got a little more to go because you're victorious here. You beat down your opponents, you know, verbally in a in a match. Then it's like, hey. You know, this is my idea. This is my project. And now I win and you don't. So what you got to do next is you got to focus on Asia or South America, because apparently there's probably going to be opportunities there. It looks like you're on a train, which is going to continue to push you to victory. So that's your reading. That's your reading, Taurus. Taurus, April 20th to May 20th. I will probably try to state this every time I do this. So what this is, if I haven't stated from the start, is that this is your horoscope for this month here for April. And if people do enjoy this, please let me know. I will definitely go ahead and make more of these two. But uh, if there's something I can improve, please help me improve. I am a complete amateur at this and I'm trying my best. So, you know, if you can help, that'd be cool. But if you did like this, please 
let me know somehow. Uh, but that's your that's your reading Taurus, April 20th to May 20th. I'm going to move on to Gemini now, so hopefully somebody will timestamp this on the video. If not, I will probably put this in the editorial as well. Description link down below. So anyways, this was Taurus. And let's move on to let's move on to Gemini. Gemini's. I always have good conversations with you guys. I always do. Guys and gals, I do. But can I stand you for more than two hours? No. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'm kidding. Maybe there are some Geminis out there I can. No, they're they're cool people. They are. Just sometimes we do get into arguments. Sometimes we do. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you're bad people. Just sometimes we get into arguments and you know. You know, it's uh it it uh it gets ugly. It it does kind of get ugly. I don't know why. I don't want to make it ugly. I'm just stating my opinion, my what I've learned and all that, and get a lot of contention, a lot of little underhanded whatever. But you're cool people. Don't think you're not. All right, so did I put that one back? Look. Yeah, I did. All right, anyways. Okay, so let's do this again. As if we've never done this before. Which actually, this is only the. This is still pretty new to me. I can't believe I can actually shuffle this. Give me some bigger cards, bro. I'll shuffle them all. <laughs> I know a lot of people do it the other way because it's like, well, you know, that way nobody sees anything. But this way, I get them all individualized one by one. I can I can flash them? I can look at that. It's almost perfect. <laughs> it's it's almost completely perfect. Okay, Gemini, we are on you now. Okay, so what we're going to start with is your center card. So help us determine what is your what is your purpose? What is your purpose in life? Uh, or what do you want to do right now for April? Let's see that. You have big man on campus. So that's what you got. All right. Let me pause this real quick. I will get right back into it. Okay, so what do we got here, big man on campus? So you are the nine cups, right? Okay, so you got nine cups, nine uh, from, uh, what was it? What was it? Uh, uh, what religion was that? No, it wasn't Sumerian. It was, oh, man, it was an older religion or older culture. It was, was it Assyrian? It starts with a C, I think, but I don't think they added up to nine. I'm trying to remember. It's something about numerology. I was trying to figure out. Anyways, regardless. Uh, okay, so I shuffled all the cards, as you saw. So this is your center card. For yeah, I was just trying to think of something there. I was trying to point something out, but I forgot who it was. Uh, it'll come to me. So this is you here. This is the other, your lover, friend, or whatever, could be any one of those. This is your journey, right? And this is your outcome. So, oh, it's bouncing all like that. Anyways, let us start off with you here. Let's see what this is all. Ooh, look at that. You have the beggar card, the six of pentacles. So, uh, you can say that this guy's a just guy because he has the balance scale and he's given little little uh, green peas to these little poor dudes here. They're like, please give me some more peas, rich rich man in red robes. And, and uh, the man in red robes is like, yes, yes, little slave servant boy. I will give you all these peas because I'm balanced. So uh, what ends up happening is that from this, because you have a lot of bounty here, you know, all these freaking cups. You have too many cups, dude. You're the big man on campus, okay? Or big 
woman on campus. I'm not saying you're big. I'm just saying like you're, you got a lot of stuff. Like you got a lot of stuff in your house, right? So you got a lot of stuff. So you are giving this stuff to all these, you know, poor people, which is great. You know, you're actually giving to the less fortunate people there, which is awesome. How much are you giving it though? I mean, it does show six here, but let's pull an Uno card and see if that's accurate or see if that coincides somehow. Maybe we can figure something out from there. So five, I think I just drew this card. I think I'm pretty sure I just drew this card, but I know there's a bunch of fives in Uno. So I'm going to put that back. It doesn't really, it doesn't really like vibe for me or anything. So I'm not going to go ahead with that. We're going to go and pull the next card up, which will be a two. So here's the thing. Here's the tricky thing. It says that you have nine, you're giving away six, but in reality, you're being a miser, Gemini. You're only giving two. So here's the thing. You need to start man or womaning up and, and giving what you say you're going to give. You know, it does say there's two people there, but my understanding of this is that, you know, this goes from nine to six to two. So you're being kind of miserly. And it kind of shows a little miserly guy here. He's like, I've got the balance scales. Yeah, you got the balance scales are right. You can, you know, portray something, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're being just. So I'm just saying this is what I'm seeing. And if you disagree, that's fine. Maybe I'm in the wrong. I don't know. I'm a bit of an amateur at this. And, uh, you know, I'm trying my best. I don't want to make you upset. I really don't. But. There are realities that we do have to face. Sometimes we are being miserly. Sometimes we are being egotistic. Sometimes we are being a little too angry over situations that we don't have to be. You know, there, there are times that we do mess up with certain things and sometimes we have to have things to show us the light. So this is what I kind of see with that. Let's continue here. Um, maybe just take a deep introspective on yourself for a second and just see kind of how you've been handling things, okay? So we're going to go to the other person. So this is going to coincide with what you've been doing. Okay, so that we'll flip it this way. So we've got the moon. So what it seems to be is that you are, you're being miserly. You're not giving a lot because of the moon. So something happened inside yourself that made you feel like you had to like you have a lot, but you're not giving a lot. So what happened inside of you, man or girl or woman or whatever? What happened inside of you? What happened to you that made you go inside? Are you thinking about why you're doing this? Or is it something to do with the fact that something happened to you in an emotional level that kind of makes you do this? There's probably something, there's a coinciding, there's a coinciding factor with this. So let's try to um, pull some introspective here. So I'm, I'm kind of seeing that I need to pull up a, I want to say a community chess card, but I keep feeling like I have to push towards chance. So what is, what is this? I know like typically for like a community thing, I'm, I probably should pull up a community card, but I think we have to pull towards chance for this one because this is a little bit of miserly stuff going on in your life and there's something inside going on and there that that there would be a little more introspective over here with chance than community chess so i'm going to go ahead and pull chance card bank pays you dividend of fifty dollars so this is what this means right here. The bank ripped you off. The bank freaking ripped you off. And because of that, you're acting miserly to other people that you're sort of being a flander per, uh, a flander, flander, flander per, flander, uh, phil flander p. You're being a philanderpist. Yes, that's what, that's what that means. You're being a philanderpist to people, but you're really not giving them what it shows that you, what they think you're giving them. You're not giving them everything. You're giving them two out of six. So what is that? 
you're giving them a third. You're giving them a third of what you say you're giving them. You're not giving them everything because the bank freaking ripped you off. So I understand that, but that's the bank, man. This is the bank. Bank dude. That's, um, you know, he's, he's not a good guy. I mean, like, that's what he does. He just, he just sitting there. He's like, yeah, I got my money. Who cares about you? So that's that badass bank guy, you know, and, uh, he's, he's just gonna, he's gonna take your money because he just thinks you're a chump. Actually he thinks most people are chumps, but he's going to take your money because he thinks you're also a chump. And so you're pissed off and you're being a little miserly to other people. Now see, they didn't deserve this. They have nothing. They didn't deserve that, but you have something and you're trying to make a life of your own, but this guy's taking money from you. Don't put it on those little people. Cause they're, maybe they can't, maybe they're so disabled. They, they can't do much with their lives, you know? And, and, you know, they're like, please help me. I don't know what's going on. And then you're like, okay, I will help you. So maybe be a little more helpful. Maybe give a little more. And then go back after this guy. You know, he only gave you $50. You probably deserved more. You probably needed more. You probably were like, hey, I wanted a loan for this much, but I only got 50 freaking dollars. What a jag off. Look at that. You know, you deserve more. Go after this guy and be helpful to these two guys. Okay. Or girls, you know, I'm just, I might say guys sometimes. So just hopefully you forgive me on that one. But anyways, your journey. What is this all about? Ooh, death in reverse though. So death in reverse. This is an interesting card. Um, everybody says Scorpios are, you know, death for Scorpio is not a big deal. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> you know, uh, this is death, but it's in reverse. So death in reverse for most other signs is kind of a good thing. So it's kind of like, well, this could have been like a death, uh, a complete separation of seeing as how we're thinking about introspectives of yourself. This could be a death of yourself, but this is reverse. So you're, you are changing you're the big man on campus. You're being the uh, kind of like, oh, I'm going to only do this to you because these guys did this to me. You're changing your ways. You are turning around. Gemini, you are becoming a nice person. I mean, you maybe you were, have been a good person for a long time, but this is going to change you into maybe a little bit of a nice person because you're going through a death here. You're kind of seeing what's going on with this, and you're like, wow. I need to kind of change some things around in order to, you know, just kind of come ahead and, and, and see that, you know, it, like you, here's the thing, you got the scales here, right? You got the scales right freaking there. You're holding the scales as kind of like a joke with these two dudes here, but the scales is the symbol as to how this all comes out to play. Cause you're like, you know what? I hold the scales of balance. So these guys, I'm going to balance out their lives the right way. And I'm going to balance out this guy the right way. So you're going to do justice here. You're going to do justice. Death in reverse looks like you're kind of seeing things at a better scale. There's a division. Death is kind of the sword, kind of division. Just it, it, it clears things, change, makes a whole new picture, right? Okay. Um, where is this going to lead you in risk though? So let's check out a card. Let's figure that out. Uh, what do we got? Look at that. Western United States. Western United States. So this has to do with the change. So either you're going to find out some information that came from the Western United States. Or it has to do with how this is going to lead you to the change. This is what you've been doing. This is what's happened to you in the past. And so maybe making a trip or maybe uh, confiding in some people that you know that have your better interests in the Western United States is going to help you with this. So this change is brought about based from 
Western United States. So anyways, if you do have Western United States, you can place an extra troop there too. Uh, that is an option. Just saying. But anyways, let's go on with the reading here. So what's your outcome? Your outcome is... Uh-oh. Uh, that. So it is the... It would have been the Six of Cups, but now it's in reversed. So this will probably... Because this is in reverse, this helps you clear up things. This might not, because you're giving money away and all that, right? You know, you're kind of clearing things up. You should have gotten some money. It doesn't necessarily say that you might get your results. I mean, let's pull a secret mission card and we can probably full, we could probably figure out the result with that, but it's still going to give you clarity of mind, right? So six there, six here, right? So this seems to be probably somewhat of a karma thing. You still have nine cups, but you might break even in some of this. You know, it, it's it's kind of iffy here, but let's pull a secret mission card and let's see what your secret mission would be. Okay, so your secret mission is to conquer the continents of Asia and South America. So it has to do with, with America here. So I'm guessing, and I think probably Lady Luck is, is giving me an option, an idea here, is that you're probably going to get this, but there is a, a silver lining here. If you conquer some of Asia and South America, so there's Western United States here for the change, and there's South America and Asia here. So there are some opportunities over here that could probably change your fortune around with some of that. And so, you know, that's kind of what I have for you. But with the, see, the thing is with, with the, with the, the six of cups upside down and with the six of pentacles right side up, it just doesn't look that good for this month. So if you want to avoid this kind of catastrophe, you know, maybe take heed of some of this stuff because it doesn't look like you're going to get, you know, it doesn't look like you're going to get your loan this month, you know, or whatever you were supposed to get with the bank. And they didn't give you the money that you were needed. Right. But you did get clarity of mind. So there is a good upside to this. You did get clarity of mind. You cleared off some of that karma. You know, you're, you're kind of turning things around. Uh, you're going to find some clarity within somebody that's within the Western United States a company, a person, whatever. And uh, according to this, you might not get your money this month. You might have to wait. But there is this other card of Asia and South America. So there are some probable opportunities in Asia or South America. So look for that. But this month doesn't look the best. But you know, you got to try. You got to do your best. You got to keep, got to keep pushing. Got to keep trying. So that was you, Gemini. I want to say, I hope things get better. You know, it, it kind of sucks when you can't get some financial things to turn out around your way. And you are trying to be a philanthropist, but you have been a little miserly here with the two, you know. So you are seeing that. You are changing that around. That is a good thing. You are actually upgrading in a way. You're becoming a better person. So that's a good thing. That is a good thing. But you're going to have to wait till next month to kind of get um, probably a little more clarity or at least maybe just because of this month, just don't, don't look for it this month. Don't look for it this month. This, this money might not come to you. So anyways, anyway, <laughs> Jim and we, <laughs> Jim and I, I can't even say your name right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Jim and I, I wish you the best. I just think that this is not the best month for you to worry about getting your money's worth from people that owe it to you, that really do owe it to you. I just, I don't think this is the best month for it. So maybe, you know, instead of, you know, I can see why you're kind of squirreling some money away, you know, still be the big man on campus, still be, you know, learn your lesson with the philanthropy, but just hold off till the next month, probably.
And there, there might be some opportunities in Asia and South America. So research that. So you might be going south. You might be going south and east to find some new opportunities. So I hope that helped. Uh, so that, that was your reading, Gemini. Let me know what you think. I know it's probably... I hope it's not the harshest reading. There might be harsher readings than this. Uh, we'll see. But I hope this wasn't too bad for you. hope this helped you get some... Maybe some introspective in your life. And, uh, and all that. So that's, that's Gemini. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I do wish you the best though. Please take care. Try to just focus on, you know, you know, just focus on best parts of life and, you know, all that. So anyways, all right, cancer, you are up. <laughs> you are up to the you are up to the bat how are you doing cancer so this is going to be your tarot reading cancer i wish you well i really do i wish all the signs well too and so what i'm going to do here is uh we're going to start up there's going to be a center card that's going to be the central focus of it there's going to be a you an other card a journey card and an outcome card now, this could kind of potentially mean a lot of things, but I'm going to try to specify it so it's dang near close to one specific thing. Uh, but um, take it or leave it. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm a bit of an amateur here, and I'm trying, but we'll see if I do well or not. <laughs> I think I'll do pretty well, but I don't know. It's it's really just comes down to like what I feel the cards are going to, gonna tell me here you know lady luck is on my side and lady luck is gonna help me figure this out so let's start this up in one second here okay okay cancer so let's get on with this let us do our thing let's do our little tango you know cancer i'm scorpio so you know water signs kind of splash around a bit you know so let's uh try to do this right so i did two shuffles there let's do a full big Thick shuffle here. Oh, that was pretty good. All right, so we're going to pull out the middle card, kind of give the over-under overall feel here. So that's going to be... All right, this is the over-under feel, so I'm just going to go ahead and straighten that out. That is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, it's Ten of Pentacles. There is Ten in there. There is a bit of uh, infrastructure. Lady Luck is telling me infrastructure. So this is a tower there. There's people there talking. It's a little little dude uh, sitting underneath an arch or next to an arch there. Two dogs looking at him. Just kind of just reminds me of like infrastructure and uh you know, well, I guess the arch, I guess it probably does more so, but there's just a lot of uh, buildings there. So this is, has to do with infrastructure for you, cancer. So this infrastructure of either you are a builder, you are an architectural planner, you are someone to do with community, but some kind of building infrastructure. That's what I'm getting out of that. There's 10, 10 things there. Okay. So, all right, we're going to start with you card there other card a journey card and an outcome card okay so let's go ahead and uh, figure that out so you 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 too over here over here over here knight of wands so what does that mean basically that means that that's not very good so uh what does it mean it's not very good well knight of wands is typically a guy he's got he's got a wand he's got an idea he's got yeah look at me i've got this wand yeah i'm really cool and like he's kind of like initiating things he can you know take the drive and push forward with things and so he's got his ideas he's gonna push forward with stuff but he's upside down so he's like oh nowhere to go except for a fall um and so what ends up happening is that there's this infrastructure idea here 10 either 10 ideas 
which it could be 10 ideas. It seems like it's probably 10 ideas. I'm going to take one of these cards here to get a perspective of it. It's going to be community chance, community chest or chance. We'll get a perspective as to what this idea is here. Okay. So because this is like an infrastructure card, and this is an upside down card. You, you're basically just lagging. You're just, you're becoming kind of, uh, um, I don't want to say lazy, but I want to say, what's a better word for lazy? That's not so lazy to say. Um, you're, you're not motivated. You're not motivated. You have this great idea, but you're not motivated. You're not, not making any progress. So let's see what uh, the community chest has to say. Okay, give a little little fire there. Maybe give you some motivation. So we have uh, life insurance matures, collect $100. So maybe you got some kind of uh, payout and your payout because of old age or because of, you know, what's going on with, um, you know, the quarantine stuff. Um, maybe, uh, Maybe you got your check from the government. You're like, well, I got my thousand dollar check. Screw it. I don't need to do them anything. You know, there's this whole idea. I don't really care. I can't do anything anyways. So maybe that's what's happening with that. Maybe you're not investing in anything because you're like, well, I don't know what's going to happen here. Well, like any other virus, they eventually go away and then life returns back to normal. Um, now, how hard the media is pushing stuff it kind of depends on, you know, whether that's actually going to get pushed through all the way. People are going to freak out and like lock themselves up forever, or are they going to come out and actually do some work and, you know, live through it and help, you know, help themselves build their immunity system and just survive it. Just like every other thing that comes out. Um, you know, that kind of depends, but it looks like you got some kind of payout could be a government thing could be a life insurance thing, could be something. And your your idea has stagnated. So your, your idea stagnated. So now it's like, well, I don't know about it. So this is what I'm getting out of this. So you're not, you're not doing squat. You're just sitting on your ass, acting like you got this bad back. I mean, you could have a bad back. I've got a bad back. I mean, you could be old. So yeah, I probably shouldn't say that. I mean, I, you know, I, I understand that perspective, but you're not doing anything about your idea. You're just stagnated. So let's see what we can do here. All right, so we're gonna to go to the other card. Who is the other person? Ooh, this is important. Look at that. Three of wands. Okay, so there's a wand there. Some wands here, right? Okay, so what this means is that you got an unknown person. Look at this guy, he's not looking at you. He's like, I'm not looking, or I'm not looking at you. If I turn this this way, you can see it clearly, but you know, he's looking away. This guy with three wands, he's looking away. Now, is this you? No, this is the other card. This was you. This is the other person or a corporation or something, some entity. There's three things there, right? Three things there. Can we clarify if this is three? Let's pull an Uno card here. Okay. Wild card. Ooh. Now that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Just considering doing all this right now, that's crazy right there. That's a wild card. So what that means is, yeah, you know there's three there that aren't helping you in any way. But it could be more. It could be wild. You don't know. So you don't know. I don't know. But it's a certain amount of other people that are involved with your project here. You know on a surface it's three. And you know that they're not looking your way because of probably the situation because now you got paid out. You're just kind of lazy. So, but there could be more to this story than meets the eye because there's a wild card here, okay? What, what, this is crazy, Cancer. I, I'm sorry. This is just such a crazy reading here. I hope this, uh, I hope we can probably get through this, you know? But let's, let's, let's see what's next here. Oh, man. Look at that, dude. Ah. Can I zoom in? Look at that sad sack. All right, so this is your journey card here. And uh, 
he doesn't look too happy. He is the Seven of Pentacles. So this Seven of Pentacles looks because what's happened here with your, you know, drain of like, I don't feel like doing it because I've got the money and I don't have any energy. And then my other people aren't backing me. It's making me feel sad. So it's lowering your perspective from 10 to 7. Because these are pentacles here, and that's all tying in right there. So it's lowering your perspective of what you can accomplish down to 7. So you, whatever you would have had, you would have had 10, but now you will have 7. Sorry. That's just the way it's kind of going with that. So what can we get out of this? This is kind of your journey with this whole thing. We can get um, a risk card. Let us pull, let's just pull the top one here. Central Africa. So this has something to do with Central Africa, right? If not, you can place an extra troop on Central Africa um, if you own Central Africa. So you can do it like that. But it could be something out of Central Africa, maybe some material that's coming from Central Africa. Maybe uh, some workers are there. Some strife or something like this has to do with your misfortune. Okay. So that's kind of, it doesn't, I'm sorry, it doesn't look very good, but let's keep going here. So what do we got to finish off? Well, okay. Well, we got the seven of wands, right? We got the seven of wands, it's upside down, which isn't very good either. Uh, but it does go back to the whole wand thing. So your whole lethargy comes back together. You're not going to get the best perspective of things. Um, but it is seven, which this is seven two. So that is super interesting, but it looks like you're working on stuff, right? Kind of looks like you're, you're working to change things, right? So, you know, you've kind of made a little bit of a loss, but you made a gain. It made you a little lazy. People weren't working with you. You don't know how many of there were, and it made you feel down something to do with Central Africa could be people there that are like making a better profit or holding you back somehow. And you're still working on it. You, you decide you're still working on it. It doesn't look great. It's not as great as the first perspective that it was, but you start to stop being lazy and you start to actually do something about it. So let's look at a secret mission here. I'm going to pull a secret mission. We'll see how much cash you can make out of this too. Maybe there's a cash thing. Let's um, conquer the continents of North America and Africa. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. So something in North America is going on, but it is saying something about Central Africa. Check that out. I just pulled that out of there. Just So there's definitely something happening in Africa. That's keeping your perspectives from actually going forward here. Isn't that something? So how much money can you make if you go and, because here's the secret mission. This, these are secret missions here. You know, if you start to understand some of the secret mission cards, you'll probably get it. Uh, but how much money can you kind of get out of this possibly? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just close my eyes and just, just grab like okay whoa hundreds of dollars of bills whoa there's one two three four five six seven eight hundred dollars eight hundred dollars here i know you're like well it's monopoly money well this is just an just a thing to translate how much money uh, you could potentially make out of this. So, you know, the good thing is it was an idea. You got some money, so you did make money. That's a good thing. It's always a good thing. You did make money, but you had 10. You went down to seven. But what ends up happening, you find out what happens in uh, Africa. Seems like there's some little weird thing going on in Central Africa. And you're going to come out with an extra $100. This could be $1,000, you know. I mean, I know it says $100 here, but 
only got Monopoly money. And that's all I can really work with right now. So anyways, it looks pretty good. I was just kind of like randomly pulling out some money to see what you could get off that. So it looks like you're going to still come out on top. Right, Cancer? You're still going to come out on top. But things are kind of like all over the place, right? You know, weird things happened. You got lazy, didn't push through. Some opportunities fell through the floor. It could have been opportunities with Africa. Uh, you know, people kind of left you out a little bit. Um, I find it kind of interesting how there's three here. There was, what? Oh, look at that. There's 10 here. There's three here upside down. You lost three. You went down to seven. So this is actually adding up. Holy shit, this is adding up. Sorry, I don't want to swear. Um, so you literally went from 10 down to 7, 10 minus 3, 7, something with Africa, and you start to work for it, and you find out the mission was, the secret mission was to go to Africa, and you rebuild what you lost. You don't know what the hell happened here fully because it's a wild card. But you came out on top with an extra hundred or thousand dollars or you know something within the one zero zero range. So actually, congratulations, you know, you've been through a hell of a lot, and now you're probably gonna profit. So <laughs> this is really interesting. I think uh I hope this helped you, Cancer. Um just trying this for fun and kind of an amateurish thing for myself because you know, I'm a bit of a noob myself at this, but I um, hope this helped. Let me know if this helped. I, I, I would like to know. I, th that'd be awesome if I helped you with that, because that that was like very, very clear. It was almost extremely clear. It's like something in Africa is going on, and you need to do something about that. If you figure it out and you do the work. Maybe it's not Africa, but maybe it's a southern continent. Maybe it's a southern uh, place, something south of you. Did something nefarious here, Cancer. Something nefarious. It's a wild card. You got to figure it out. Who did what to you? Figure it out. Work on it. Make some extra money. Might not be as much, but, you know, you had an idea. You're starting from scratch. You made money. It's a good thing. All right, Cancer. Thanks for... Thanks for being here. Thanks for playing. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Cancer, for being here. I hope you had a good time. Uh, we're going to move on to Leo. Now, I've got a friend who's a Leo. And I joke around saying he's an Amish robot all the time because it's just a joke. You know, Because honestly, having an Amish robot is a pretty good thing. Amish are holy people. And having a holy robot as a friend... Just imagine possibilities. So, yeah. Anyways, anyways, Leo. You guys are always very proud of what you do. Uh, just, just make sure you look out for others, too. You know, you're not the only things in existence. But I do like Leo's as friends and family. They're good people. Very protective. Leo's are very protective of of their people. They really are. Okay. Anyways, let's go on with this. So, Leos, what do we have here? We are going to have a center card. Whether up or down, whatever it can be, we are going to have this card be your starting point. Vroom, vroom, vroom! Ooh, two of swords with a little moon in the background and some water. And uh, two of swords is a really cool picture. It's it's kind of like the justice sword, you know, justice is blind. But this is kind of, this is also possible a training sword too, because um, if you're training with weaponry and you get really good as far as like fighting and defending blind, I'm sure you've seen some movies and things like that. Uh, yeah, well, you know, if you can fight with your, with your ears over your eyes, it's kind of like echo relocation, like bats. You can move around like a bat. Anyways, I'm getting a little carried away, but you got a really cool card here. Let's see what this is all about. 
So we're going to do the you card, the other card, the your risk, your journey card, and the outcome card. Okay. So what do we got for the you card? Here we have, uh, that sucks. Um, we have the Ten of Cups upside down. It'd be really good if it was a right setup, but it's upside down. So, well, um, we tried. You know, literally, you're. It's like you're you're kind of sitting in limbo, trying to train yourself. Something happened that wasn't so happy. Like this would be a happy ending right here. So you get married, you have kids, you have get the job you want, blah blah blah, all these great things. 10 of them, just a lot of this big dream didn't happen, right? That sucks. Sorry to hear that. So what can we get out of this? Because this looks like this is kind of putting you into a Zen mode. Like you are, you're becoming a, a super warrior because of what's happened. You're like, you know what? I'm going to go inside. I'm going to train. I'm going to have my two swords. Nothing can stop me. This didn't happen, but that's not going to stop me because I'm a Leo. And Leos are protectors. They're family focused. They they push forward. They they're like lions. They they you know it's like the lion tribe. It's almost exactly like that. So, anyways, let's see what we can do with your U card. We're gonna pull a community chest or chance. I think this has to do with your success here. So I'm guessing with the ten and with the two, you know. 10 and 2. 10 is two digits. 2 is two digits. I need to take two cards. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Lady Luck is inspiring me too. I'm not going to, I don't think I can typically do that a lot, but I feel like you need to have two cards here. So, all right. What does that say? Holiday fund matures. Receive $100. Look at that. All right. So you receive $100. That's for the, uh, Misfortune card, so it's, I don't know why it's misfortune, but we'll see. All right, so what is this? Go to jail. Go to jail. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Ooh. All well, there you have it. I had, to, I had to pick two cards, and this was it. So what you thought was really happy... Ended up getting you some money, but ended up sending you through a financial crisis that you lost that money that you collected and something serious happened like you had to go to jail. So <laughs> this is like coinciding with this. This is like ultimate happiness here, this Den of Cups card. And then this chance card says go to jail. So it kind of coincides with it. Plus it kind of screws you over with the fact that you had $100 and then you lost it. And it, you lost what you earned from holiday funds so your fund money was taken away and it, wow it sent you to jail um it seems like with the moon card it's kind of a mental jail so it might not be like a physical thing it might be more of a a mental you know in your mind kind of thing you might have lost some money it might have incurred some money you might have gained and you lost and then what you thought was going to make you a lot of ha happiness it just brought you into the zen zone so now you're you're kind of looking within so this is kind of what i'm getting it could be a real thing too like you could have gone to jail so i'm sorry but you know that's that's what i'm seeing so anyways um let's look at the other card here the fool the fool card so So, you know what's interesting about this card and what this situation is that because this happened, usually the fool is someone that's just kind of a, uh, they're kind of out there. This is one of the major arcana cards. I, I think I remember, yeah, this is one of the major arcana cards. There's a little doggy there. Little doggy's happy. This little master right there. Um, but it's upside down, so... We're going to read it as upside down. It seems to kind of make sense with this. So what ended up happening is that you were kind of a happy-go-lucky guy. 
or girl. The, all this stuff happened and you went within and now this fool card is kind of telling you like let's not be so happy go lucky let's let's reevaluate things here right okay um so the other card let's pull up an uno card let's see what happens there you got a 7 so the fool is this and there's something to do with 7 here so what does 7 mean with this card well, probably means you've done this seven times before, and now you're kind of learning this. You've done this multiple times in the past. You're learning from your mistakes of what's happening, and you're getting mental clarity, right? Okay, so let's go on here. What do we got? We got the moon card. Moon, moon. This is, that's 18 right there. Okay. So you've done this multiple times, right? You're going inside. You're, you're having a Zen zone, but your journey is telling you this is where you're going with your journey. This, this doesn't mean that this could have something to do with animals. There's a little dog here. There's two dogs there. And there's a little lobster there too. So maybe you're making lobster. No, wait, no, that probably shouldn't make any sense there. Um, this could have something to do with animals too. You know, maybe animals are going to kind of be there to help you this little dog's there with this fool card and these two dogs there barking at the moon maybe it's animals your pets dogs cats whatever is that's what's going to be there to kind of help you gain some mental clarity that you're looking for inside here and this moon and this moon both double up here and they both basically talk about the fact that you're looking within right okay so anyways let's go uh let's pick a risk card here let's see what your journey says as far as where you should go physically or mentally brazil nice brazil's pretty nice so maybe this is saying because of some things that have happened here, it's happened seven times, maybe you need to take a little vacation to Brazil. You know, see the big Jesus statue, enjoy the beaches, go around, see the locals. They're very friendly people there. You do have to watch out for some scams and stuff. But And the roads are made like uh, spaghetti vines. So if you're planning on renting a car, be very careful and uh, be a very good driver. If you're not a very good driver, probably take a taxi or take the bus. I think the bus might be the best way to go, but make sure you get you know what you need for that. So you've been through some stuff and you need a vacation. You need to look at your dogs or some mental introspective. Maybe they're there to help you. Maybe um, if you believe in an animal spirit, maybe that has something to do with it. But ultimately, it seems like you need to take a trip either to Brazil or to a southern place that's kind of a little more warm, luscious, and uh, has good food. I mean, they got good food there too. So maybe you need to take a trip to Brazil. Maybe there's something there for you. Maybe this is like, well, you're going to gain introspective. You're going to have your family stuff here, but maybe you need to go. Maybe you need to go to Brazil. You know, gain some interperspective. So if you also have Brazil, if you own Brazil, let's say you're the um, the leader of Brazil, uh, you get an extra troop to place on Brazil as well. Just make sure you remember that. Okay, so outcome, money or houses. All right, so outcome, oh man, that's not very good. Well, uh, the three of cups upside down. So what does this say? Things have happened in your life. Not very good. It hasn't really given you a lot of success, but what this could potentially do is give you some 
mental success as far as like feeling a little better, taking a trip, you know, getting through this, maybe starting to understand you need to fight for yourself because this looks like a whole lot of like, oh, you la di da. Oh, let's have some fun. Oh, we win. And then things didn't all end up happening that way. And you went to jail and you made a hundred bucks, but you lost an extra hundred on top of that. Things didn't really work out too well. And it's happened about seven times. You know, it doesn't look very good. But what looks really interesting is that the, this is a very strong card right here. So it looks like you're just kind of pushing this all away. You're going, get away from me, stupid cards. You know, I'm strong right here. Nobody can beat me. And so even with some setbacks in life, you're going to become that Zen master. You know, you're going to have those two swords. You're going to be able to fight without seeing, you know, and it's all going to be a mental thing. You're going to gain this all through a mental thing. It could be some animals that help you kind of gain that feeling, but it's going to, it's going to leave you right here in the Zen mode. And you're going to, you're going to start to understand how to take care of yourself. And the Brazil thing could literally be like, hey, go to Brazil, take a trip. Let's see what the secret mission is here. And let's see if that has something to do with something. If that could clarify a couple things here. Destroy all blue troops. If you control the blue troops, occupy 24 territories of your choice instead. So, you know what's interesting? What does that say? Destroy all blue troops. What's this? It's a blue seven. What's every card have in it to a certain degree? Blue, 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 blue. What's that mean? You had a lot of setbacks. You need to destroy all the things that have made you blue, all the things that made you sad, and take a trip trust in either if you consider an animal spirit if you if you know that's something you consider or you have a pet that's really happy with you take your take your pets on a trip to a southern country gain some perspective and make sure you keep your zen mode there all right leo that is your reading for april i know we're already in seven or eight whenever i get this video out but um I was going to start April 1st and I didn't have the cards ready to do so. So I hope this isn't so bad, but at least this will give you some perspective on life. You know, you are going within, you need a trip, but you need to destroy the blue. So you need to destroy what makes you sad, right? There was something you thought was going to be a success. It wasn't people you thought you were going to be happy with. It wasn't, you were kind of like happy go lucky you're happy go lucky didn't get you somewhere trust in in the little animal friends that are there to help you that that'll give you the, the the happiness boost to get to this point and probably take a trip to brazil it's a really good it's a pretty cool place i like it all right so that was you leo let's move on to virgo so i do have some virgo friends i do have a lot of virgo people that pop in and out of my life how are you doing today We'll be doing pretty well. I know Virgo people are about perfecting themselves and all that. But you also have to look at the fact that not everybody wants to do that. <laughs> Some people think life is sloppy and why perfect everything? So you got to take that in perspective. But you're good people. You are. So anyways, um, I actually do get along with some Virgos. I do. But they're always within their own little realm. They're always doing their own thing. Trying to perfect themselves and trying to make everything like super awesome. Which is great. But don't forget your friends. Because they do exist. And uh, maybe support them too. All right, so Virgo, Virgo is August 23rd to September 22. 
I was considering doing the one with uh, Ophiuchus because it has more constellations into it, but then um, I don't know how many people really are following all of it. Although I kind of like it. And I thought I was, which I might be. But then I looked at some of the, uh, the dates and they seem to be a little further along, so... All right, so Virgo. Let me pause this for one second. And we'll do a timestamp. All right, Virgo. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, so I'm going to pick an over under card for you. This is going to kind of give the uh, general feel to what's going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a that card. What do we got? We have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Got the Eight of Wands there. That's a cool card. Bunch of rods sticking out of the air. So what do we got here? We got the U card coming here, Virgo. We have the other card. We have the journey card and we have the outcome card so let's go ahead and pick and we'll choose and we'll see what happens here so you have judgment oh judgment well hopefully you don't die but um what basically means is probably you've been very judgmental there's eight rods here uh there's the judgment card here, so you've been judging everything, you know, to make sure it's perfect. So it's probably something like that. Let's pull some more stuff, and we'll kind of see. Uh, this looks like a lot, and it looks like there's people here, so this has to do with people. And um, whether they're dead people, and you're bringing them back to life, or they're zombies... And you're going to hit them with sticks. Let's see what we can try to assume as far as what's going on here. Let's put the chance card, right? So this is a crazy thing here. I, I want to pick chance, but I'm feeling like I should pick the community chest because, you know, there's people involved, a lot of people. There's a lot of stuff going on here. This could be you helping people or killing zombies. Uh, one of the two. All right. Uh, hospital fees... Pay a hundred dollars. So there has something to do with hospitals. So you are assessing the situation. There's eight wands here and all that, right? And uh, you got something going on in your life. You got family. You I don't want to say family problems, but you have family stuff going on. And it looks like you're trying to uh, help out all these people here. You, you've got, this is kind of a windy card. These these wands are flying through the wind. So there's so much stuff going on here. There's a judgment card. This is a 20 card. This is a pay $100 card for kids. So maybe you're having more family. Either you're having children or family is becoming a burden right now to you. In some kind of semblance. Now this is $100 for Monopoly, which... And Monopoly is kind of a lot. In our reality, it's not so much a lot. But considering Monopoly from this time, from long ago, that's a lot, there's a lot of money going on in here. So you have either that happening eight times. So maybe you've got $800 or $8,000, but you have a lot of debt you're trying to pay off. Something's happening with Something's happening with family and something's happening with your money and you're not doing very well, and you're trying to make a judgment. Who gets what, right? Judgment is who gets what. I thought it might be a zombie thing, but considering, you know, the community chest card, it's probably not. And we don't have zombies alive right now, so that's a good thing. Okay, so let's look at the other card here. Oh, look at that. Look at what you did, man. Look at what you did. You took away a cup. Because typically this means somebody's offering a cup here. 
like if we're going to look at it four cups you got one two three cups you're deciding and then there's another little offer like oh hey check out this cup too you're like hmm i don't know what to do so reversed means that you're like oh yank yank i'm taking that cup so you took away a cup made somebody sad eight here four here so if i'm going to go ahead and add that up i'm going to say if we divide this a little bit there's 20 there's eight there's four um you took away two ones or you took away a cup we're going to divide that in half you took away one of this you know out of four so you took away five two and one so you took away a percentage from with you know with what's happening with family members because you're making a judgment right but you're you're having a bit of a struggle so you're 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 taking back some of the stuff that that's owed to you so good job good job you're you're making some good judgments here and you're taking stuff back that's owed to you because of kind of your financial burden right okay let's see if we can get maybe some clarity out of that let's pull uh let's pull a random out of here one one in the green one in the green reminds me of money one in the green and there's one cup being taken right so what do we got with that that just confirms that really one in the green being taken away you're reestablishing you know what's going on with your financial problems you're taking back one because you kind of need it and some of your family's like hey i need some stuff too you're like yeah 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 i need mine too so you're taking it back and this kind of goes along with that kind of confirms it so pretty simple you know not too hard to configure all right so let's go with the journey card here you know what I was thinking this should be like this honestly I don't think this should be upside down um, it just feels like this should be up there's judgment here the way things are going this should be up if I feel it should be up then it should be up because I'm just like it looks like it should just turn us around like this and I was thinking that and I was like oh okay well then I'll explain it to you so I feel like this should be up so does it mean that it could be down maybe for some maybe for others depends on what you do with what's going on here if you take that cup back from what's going on with family situation to make sure that you're in a good judgment call for financial purposes then you will get those pentacles that will turn around you this this is a car this is a card of bounty look at that she's holding a bird she's just like yeah I got back what I needed she's got all those little stars next to her she's got a yellow background there this is happiness right there so could it be upside down could you be like no it's supposed to be upside down if it's upside down then guess what your attitude is making you not be successful but if you have a happy attitude and a judgment attitude you're successful so you get back what you need and you gain a bounty on top of it let's pull a risk card to see what uh, country or whatever this has to do with we'll go through with that we will pull this one out South Africa like almost everything has to do with Africa right now I don't know why something with South Africa whether you're success or loss has something to do with South Africa there we go so if you own South Africa you can put an extra troop on there on your reinforcement turn if you want to that's something you can do other than that uh, that's really all I got to say I think it's really a matter of perspective I'm thinking about turning it right but if people want to say no it was down then I, I feel like it's really comes down to your perspective if you're happy about how you're doing this and you get your cup back 
you're going to gain some financial gains. And either South Africa or you have to focus on some southern position of wherever you're at. I'm taking this from a perspective of being in a, uh, Northern America. So it really depends on which position this is. I would say probably still South because it does have South in the word. Uh, and there's a cannon. So this is like, boom, you know, it's just shooting, you know, and uh, you know what cannons do. So I think what you have to do is kind of focus on being fast, being fast about this. Something in the South is happening. This, is, this, this could literally be saying this is going South. Take back the cup that you need. Don't go just here, have all my money. <laughs> Don't go do that. <laughs> you know, even though it's a family situation, be like, Hey, I need my, my gains too. make it a positive thing. You could make some, you know, make this a positive event. Okay. Outcome, money. Death in reverse. There we go. Or I mean, there you go, Virgo. So death in reverse, what this going to kind of basically mean is that death is typically like, this is the end card. This is the end for you, bro <laughs> or gal. <laughs> Sorry, see you later. Uh, but death in reverse is kind of like, well, this is the end, but... This could be a good triumph overall. So it's kind of what I'm getting. I, I kind of felt like I had to pull it up, but I think if you feel like you're in a negative mode, you keep this one, you keep this card down. I don't know how well the death card is going to come out for you. If you reverse this, here's the thing. If you reverse this, you got to reverse this. So if you keep negative, that will be negative. Keep it positive. This will be positive. So that's what I see for that. And that's what I'm thinking. That's that's kind of how I'm getting this. Um, is there a secret mission? I don't know. With with the, the way this is going, it doesn't look like there's any kind of secret mission going on here. It looks like a pretty state, straightforward thing. Pretty simple fix. You know, you get back what you needed to have and you just kind of move on, right? But don't let... Uh, even though family is looking for things too, you also need your stuff too. Don't let them, you know, kick you down. You need your things as well. Everybody needs a chance to survive and do well. You got to look for yourself too sometimes. You, you do a lot of stuff for a lot of people. But definitely take into account yourself here. Get back that cup. It's not trying to take from you. Get back that cup. Okay, Virgo, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I'm a bit of an amateur at this. and You probably say all kinds of stuff, but I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know. <laughs> let me know if this actually turns out well for you. I'd like to know that because, you know, I'm just, I'm a noob. <laughs> I'm starting up here. But uh, let's go ahead with that. I hope that helped you. I, you know, I don't think this is a mental projection. I think this is a reality what's actually going on with you it doesn't seem to it's, it all seems to be like very boom 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 very powerful cards so that's what i'm saying like at the end there if you have a negative perspective of this of what you're doing it won't turn out well you have to know you have to do what's right take what's right for you and it'll give you a a, a, a good end result but it will end this will end okay all right, we did that. Let's go ahead and shuffle it up here again. I'm going to pause the video so I can probably like shuffle a bit more. I'm going to shuffle like, I don't know, 3,000 more times. <laughs>